Alright guys, today is a very special day because I'm going to be racing a distance I haven't touched since high school. Yes, I am making my collegiate mile debut. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm a 10k guy, so doing a mile is something I didn't really think I was going to ever do, or at least really focus on, but that's kind of the focus for today. It's going to be nice because now I have an actual mile time. You know, people always ask, hey, what's your mile? What do you run for a mile? And I always have to explain to them, I don't know, I don't run the mile, I'm a 10k guy, blah, 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 blah. My PR is still 440 from high school but now I finally have an idea of what I can run for the mile I'm racing at UCCS high elevation so we can get a good conversion there if I had to put a goal in it under 430 raw is where I would like to be I mean the training has just been high mileage strength focus I really have no idea what I could do in this mile but we're gonna see today and then I, know, I think a couple hours after the mile I'm gonna be doubling in the 3k I don't know we'll see how I feel for that that's what we're doing and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the video off with a little unboxing I got some new invincibles how does that look? <laughs> That's good enough. I've been needing shoes for like the longest time. And I finally found a pair in white. It's it probably is a condition. I, I have a problem. Snap, this is the wrong box. <laughs> this is Keelan's birthday present. I got her a bunch of Nike stuff, so that's why I thought Nike. I thought this was the shoes. All right, these are the Invincibles. So hopefully they look as drippy as they did in the uh, pictures. Ooh, let's go. Some white Invincibles. Desperately needed these. I have actually been struggling with the shoes I have right now. It's the user right no, now. No, no, because like, it can't bend right here. It bends like... Let me do it, let me do it. Put your okay. thumbs right here, and then you just gotta go like that. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I don't know. I think I, I think know. JJ still has it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, JJ's has it. What about yours, Corey? Oh, I don't know, I feel it. Oh! Dude. I have my knee. Yeah. Dude, I think my principal's yeah, got it. Got, got Let's go, go like an inch. <laughs> <laughs> no, we tried his papers, it didn't do nothing. <laughs> Dude, I can't even bend it. You don't want to snap the plate. <laughs> You can have all this, or you can double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> That's at 4.30, right? Yes. 4.30? Yes. yes. I can't wait to poop. 
Oh, Chicho. You got anything to say, man? Mike, bro. This is a mic? Yeah. Am I gonna be that close, but I just wanna say I'm proud of this man. He just broke 430, ran a 425. This man right here is the GOAT. Uh, I ran fast for Oats, because Oats, I knew he was showing up, so I, I did it for him. Nick flew by me, but it kind of broke me, but I still had a little bit of a kick, surprising at the end, and I pulled through. It was a good race. Good race. You're a good nice, man, you know that? A big PR. 440 to 4 whatever what it converted it is. Well, I'm tuning out. Peace. We made it. We did it. That was kind of scary on the way here. Yeah, I know. Chris, like, dude, they got Chris was slipping everywhere. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Just got home not too long ago. Took a quick shower. Let me give a quick race recap to end the video. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a miler now. <laughs> I'm really happy with how the mile went. Uh, I was not expecting to run that quick. I really had no idea what I was capable of, and I think I did pretty well. The only thing that was like really tough about it is just I just had no idea how to really pace it. I had no idea if I was making a move too early or making a move too late, but I, I think I handled it well. I think the only thing that I would really want to change was just that last like 60. I had a pretty strong kick, and I think based off of that, I probably could have went a little earlier. I mean, other than that, it was still a pretty solid race for me. Yeah, I checked the times already. Raw, it was 4.24, converted to 4.13. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I know some people don't like conversions. Some people say they're too nice. Some people say they're not good enough. You run faster at Z-Level. I don't know, based off my 5K times at Z-Level and altitude, I think the conversions are pretty, pretty close to accurate. So I'll take the 4.13. I'm gonna call that my PR. It would've been nice to have the 412. Uh, I, I think I really could've pushed for that 412. Definitely could've gotten it, but I mean, just to run 413, that's honestly just insane for me. I was definitely not expecting to run that at this point, just based off the training. During the winter break, honestly, my training was really good because like, I was just really focused on getting the volume in. Like My mileage was really good. I kept it up, kept it honest. My long runs, my medium long runs were quality. I didn't miss a single day of weights, didn't miss core. I think the only thing that like, was lacking in my winter training was just like the paces during workouts. Like Honestly, I really struggled just to hit 225s and the 800 repeats on the track. So like based off the splits I was hitting in workouts, I wasn't too confident coming into the indoor season right away but recently workouts have been good we didn't really have like any mile specific workouts like, like we didn't really train for this mile we're still keeping the mileage up still focusing on the 5k so two hours after the mile double in 3k 3k was rough for me yeah i know right away once the gun went off in the 3k 
I was struggling just to hold the pace. Really my main focus during that race was just to not let off, which I think I did well. And then once I got the legs warmed up, I guess I was able to progress down in that last 800 and then was able to pull off a little kick, a little couple gears in the last 400 or so. Uh, the 3K I think was like 907 raw, I'm not too sure, which would convert to like low 840s which is like 10 seconds off my PR. So, I mean, doing that after the mile, I think was, I'm happy with that. Well, collegiate mile debut, uh, it was a good one. And uh, yeah, I'll wrap it up. <laughs> Nick's, Nick's goaded in the middle distance. I thought I had a chance at getting him. 10K guy didn't have it. It was really close though. <laughs> That guy's dead too. He's supposed to warm up with us. Testing, testing. 